Greetings and welcome back to 50 Shades of Beige. Today we're having a quick PSA. This is about Armory Crate. For those of you who aren't familiar, Armory Crate is software that installs automatically if you have an ASUS or ROG motherboard. It's mostly used for delivering updates and customizing RGB. There's also a driver update utility and some other things like that. Depending on what model of motherboard you have, it may be slightly different. Um, but it's also used for a variety of things and has a variety of different packages. Now, the reason we're talking about Armory Crate is it includes, in many instances, the Asus updater, driver updater. This is called the Asus Driver Hub app. And you can see here, we're looking at Mr. Bra's epic blog, and he's made an entry, One Click RCE, Asus's pre-installed software. Um, be sure to check this out if you're interested in coding or technology in general. Uh, you might find it interesting. We're not going to go into great detail here. Just know that RCE stands for Remote Code Execution, and it's very dangerous and not good for you as a user. So this is a problem, or it could potentially be a problem, especially now that this uh, knowledge is public. What do we do to mitigate against this? Well, the simple answer is just get rid of Armory Crate. Now, it's not always really easy to get rid of these motherboard uh, sort of utilities that handle this sort of thing. Um, but a simple way to do it on Asus is to, first of all, go into your BIOS and make sure that the install driver hub or install armory crate options are disabled. That's the first bit. So they won't automatically reinstall when you're done uninstalling them. And then you can just go to add remove programs and find anything related to armory crate there and uninstall it. I'm sure there's plenty of guides on the, out there on the interwebs to kind of show you how to do that if you're interested. Then the next question becomes, well, now that I've uninstalled Armory Crate, how do we sort of fill the gaps? Well, your first option is Signal RGB. I highly recommend this for controlling the RGB on your computer. It's for the most part manufacturer agnostic. As you can see here in this example, you've got an, R an ROG video card with a Corsair all-in-one liquid cooler, and then you've got the MSI motherboard, and of course, all the lighting is synced up there. Um, Signal RGB is free to use. You can get access to most of the basic effects without paying, and then of course, they have premium options as well. Now, let's talk about drivers. Now, for most of you, um, using the Windows Update utility will deliver you good enough drivers, right? You really don't need to worry about it. You just let Windows Update handle your drivers. I know a lot of people don't like that, but unless you're like hardcore gaming or overclocking or you have security concerns, um, Windows Update is sufficient for you. If you want to stay up to date, you want to make sure you have the latest thing, you can just go to the Asus Download Center. So this is asus.com slash us slash support slash download dash center, or you can just Google Asus Download Drivers. Now be careful here because in a lot of instances, what you'll find is that people will place ads above these sites. So you wanna make sure you're clicking on the official Asus driver page. And then in here, you can just select your product type. In this case, we'll go motherboards, product series, any of these, we can go ROG, go Maximus 5 Extreme, right? Driver and tools. And this will load up a page where you can sort of download all of your driver executable or installer packages individually for each piece of hardware. So that's the bulk of it. This is sort of how you fill the gaps and hopefully Asus will respond positively and fix this. Though knowing Asus, that's not going to be the case, but we'll find, we'll see, we'll see. Be sure to subscribe and tune in live Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll be talking about this as well as dealing with other PC related shenanigans. And in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you soon.